Okay, in this video we're checking out the Ant from Flywheel and I did a build finally of this frame. I did a frame review earlier if you guys want to see a little breakdown of the frame before the parts are in here. Uh, and this was actually a pretty simple build and what I did was I just took the parts out of the crashed uh, uh, GetRC uh, Signet CX2. So if you want to see that video, um, I'll put a card in the corner and link down in the description to that. Basically it's just the electronics. The stack, which is going to be your uh, video transmitter, flight controller, and 4ONESC, along with the FPV system, the camera, which is the uh, split mini V2, and the receiver. I just transferred them straight over to this frame from the other frame. Pretty easy transfer, didn't take very long at all. And then obviously, uh, if you remember from that video, I crashed it and, and wrecked all the motors on that. Those kept RC, I think they were 1106 motors. So on this 3-inch frame now, instead of a 2-inch frame, I'm going to go with some bigger motors here. I actually decided to put on the Airblade uh, motors here. These are the um, Superman uh, 1404 kb So I'm flying this on 4S. And um, let's see, yeah, the other thing I did switch out was the um, VTX antenna. I'm using one of these uh, real ACC UX2s on here. Connects via microflow connector to the... Um, video transmitter instead of the whip antenna that was actually the actually without whip antenna it was a uh, SMA adapter that went to a Pagoda antenna decided to nix all that and uh, just, I'm using a little zip tie here holding on the uh, capacitor along with the battery lead and the antenna out the back here seems to be fine and just using some gem fan uh, 3035 three bladed t-style props overall pretty easy build now um, as I mentioned from the frame review, this these metal pieces here that hold the camera cage in were kind of sliding around. So if you, um, well, you definitely don't want to leave it like that. It will, I, I want to put this on there first. At first it was kind of moving around and if you fly it around like that, you will get a lot of jello and vibrations and the video will look really bad. So what I did was I just did a really simple thing. I cut up some really small pieces of heat shrink. You can see right there. And so it goes into that slot there and underneath. So you can see here um, from this angle, you can see where the heat shrink is shoved in there. That just takes up that slack so that the, the, these two side pieces don't slide around because they're metal. They just slide around so you can see on the top here that you can see the gold color here. But because of the heat shrink that's shoved in there, um, that prevents this from sliding around. And that, that fixes the problem, so if you're worried about that causing jello, just put a little bit of heat shrink underneath um, the little leg that's going to go inside there, and then when you shove it in, it's not going, the camera won't slide around at all. So it's nice and secure now, and there's no jello in the video, as you'll see in the flight demo that I'm going to show you. And I'm just going to show you, I'm going to give you a weight measurement of this build, and then just give you some flight footage. Okay, so this build here is coming in at 124.7 grams. So yeah, surprisingly, on the light side, obviously we got some lighter motors here, but it's got a three millimeter bottom plate. So yeah, it's actually it's, uh, lighter than I would have expected, and it performs pretty good. Now these uh, 1404 motors here aren't really performance beasts. Like if if you want to build this out. Um, a little bit more performance oriented. I would, instead of going with 1404s, I would go with a bigger motor, say like a 1407, 1408. Obviously you're going to have shorter flight times and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, obviously it's a trade-off, right? So uh, you can go with a lighter, more efficient motor, get a little longer flight times, less performance, or go with bigger motor, shorter flight times. That's the trade-off you got to make. And the last thing I want to mention is that the battery I was using is my typical uh, 4S 550 uh, milliamp hour GNB battery. I'll put a link to that down in the description if you guys want to know uh, what uh, what battery I use. And of course, uh, that together, I think that battery only weighs like 70 grams. So this is still under uh, 250 grams. So for the, those of you guys that have restrictions, the, this setup here is going to be great for um, flying without having to register your drone. So this is a good drone for capturing HD footage, no props in view. And yeah, if you want to uh, build this without obviously, you know, not having to buy a, a GetRC CX2, the, all these parts are available. Like the stack here is just the GetRC uh, Span, I forget the Mini F4 Tower or something like that. 
Anyway, I'll put a link to that down in the description. And obviously some different motor options. Obviously the Split Mini V2, that's a common part you can get, and the frame as well. I'll link to all those down below if you want to duplicate this build. And I'll go ahead and show you some flight footage now.